Hey guys, Thunder E here, and you are back for another battle vid, and this is one that you were waiting for. This is of course taking a look at the brand new Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro to find out if these are the best Galaxy Buds compared to the other Buds that are out there. Now, Samsung has had six generations of the Galaxy Buds. First off, let's pour a little something for our brother, the original Galaxy Buds. Came out with a Galaxy S10 series and that has been phased away. Now, with the brand new Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, these are the successor to the Galaxy Buds Pro that came out last year. Now, the Buds Pro had a lot of issues, a lot of people didn't like, and Samsung hopes to fix it with this device. So first things first is the look of the casing of the Galaxy Buds uh, 2 Pro. It has very similar casing to all the recent Buds, like the Galaxy Buds 2, the Live, and the Galaxy Buds Pro. So similar case with that. This time though, each color set has its matches the color of the case. So I have graphite with me. If you have white, you have a white case. And if you have the purple, purple or lavender, actually, you have the lavender colored case with it. So it all matches together. Now, when you open it up, you can definitely see this is tuned by AKG, so sound by AKG. And then we look at our Galaxy Buds 2 Pro themselves. Uh, you've got a very unique, distinct design, um, and of course, the graphite color look to it. You can see the charging ports and also that area where that kind of tucks into the upper side of your ear. Now, the new thing here are the ear tips. Last year, these were quite controversial with the Galaxy Buds uh, Pro. The ear tips just didn't fit for a lot of people. This time around though, I was able to find tips that fit perfectly for me. And I also was able to use the ear tip function within the app that allowed me to basically see if this was a proper fit. And he told me it wasn't, so I changed them and they worked perfectly well. Now, a couple of things that stand out with the uh, Buds 2 Pro. Battery life, uh, you're looking at 30 hours in total with, of course, uh, the uh, case and eight hours uh, in total uh, with the earbuds. And of course, if you use ANC, that changes. Now, where do they differ and what are the similarities between the other Galaxy Buds? So all the Galaxy Buds uh, have wireless charging. That is just a standard that Samsung has, whether it's the uh, from the Galaxy Buds Plus all the way to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. We also have a fast USB charging, so you usually should get about uh, an hour of playback with five to 10 minutes of charging via USB Type-C. Uh, and that's where it actually ends and stops, right? So first things first though, we'll look at the Buds Plus, which has been phased out, but you can still buy it. This doesn't have active noise cancellation. It just has a noise isolation, has a very good fit, and has that pretty long battery life with 11 hours on each earbuds. That's about it. And this also has that old peel shape uh, look to it. I do like it, but in terms of sound quality, this will be on close to the bottom of the table there. Now, next up are the Galaxy Buds Live. What I'll consider the bastard child of Galaxy Buds. Daniel's looking at him like they are just a sin to all. That's a pun to his last name. There we go. And he's gonna cut that out. But <laughs> uh, these are the Galaxy Buds that a lot of people just didn't like because of the bean shape and how they fit in your ear. And they're meant to give you that open back feel in terms of sound. They do have some active noise cancellation, but it's really not present and you're not gonna get a lot of bass with them. But for me, they did fit well and uh, they do have some really good clean sound. The next Galaxy Buds here are the Galaxy Buds Pro. Now the Buds Pro, I did like them when they came out last year, but the fit was my biggest issue. And that still remains to this day. They've got some updates which has helped improve the sound and sound tuning. Uh, but in general, the fit is a big problem for most people. And some of the audio and ANC just, just wouldn't catch up. Now, last year, we got the Galaxy Buds 2. Now, the Buds 2 were a huge improvement. First of all, from fit to also the sound quality, as well as, as well as the active noise cancellation. I've used these to travel quite a bit. Active noise cancellation has been great, but the battery life on each earbud is about five hours or so. So it's a bit lower, not as long as I would like, uh, but the active noise cancellation works really, really well. 
um, and the fit is pretty solid. So how do they stack up and where do they actually lay in terms of audio quality? This is where the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro actually take the lead. The audio quality is really good for a number of features and number of capabilities. Uh, Samsung now supports 24-bit uh, hi-fi audio, so which means you're getting better audio through these earbuds, and depends on what app you're using uh, as well. They do have their Samsung uh, hi hi-fi audio codec that they actually use, but that helps for giving you better separations between your highs, your mids, and your lows. And you can definitely hear that with the Galaxy uh, Buds 2 Pro. There is more separation there with the high, mids, and lows. They also have a dedicated driver for the bass. So all you bass fans who are looking for solid bass, you're gonna find it here with the Buds 2 Pro where it really comes out and it breathes really well. I turned them on, I was listening to some Drake and the bass was pumping. It was quite actually unbelievable because that's something you usually don't get from Galaxy Bud series and you got it really well with this. And also the mids came out well. So that separation definitely shows with that 24 bit audio uh, with this here. And I think a lot of people are gonna definitely appreciate that with the Galaxy uh, Buds 2 Pro. Now, when it comes to active noise cancellation, this is something of course that a lot of people definitely like. Now we can toss out the Galaxy Buds Plus and the Galaxy Buds Live because one doesn't have active noise cancellation and the other is just pretty much useless. And it basically hangs with, between the three, the Buds Pro, the, the Galaxy Buds 2 and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. And I think again here, this is where the Buds 2 Pro take their edge because that fit is also really good and the active noise cancellation really does a good job with the multiple microphones they have around the earbuds, giving you just a better feel and better also isolation of sound while you're listening to music. I will also add that transparency mode feels better on the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro uh, than the Galaxy Buds 2. I feel there's just a bit more fine tuning now. Is this as good as say Apple's or say something like the Sony Link Buds? We'll have to see, so stay tuned for that video. But in, within this case though, it's gotta be the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Now finally, of course, the microphone. You all make phone calls with our, our uh, earbuds and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro do a very good job. Uh, I think they match the Galaxy Buds 2 in terms of uh, voice clarity. So most uh, def definitely your phone calls would be nice and clear. I used them for a call. Uh, I spoke to a buddy of mine for about 15 minutes and he said it sounded good and clear. So I think in that respect, I think you're gonna get good audio quality from here. Now, one thing that we do know is that all the Galaxy Buds use, of course, the Samsung Gear app, and this is where you find a ton of functionality from them. Now, features were different from Buds to Buds, so of course, the features will improve and increase, starting from the Galaxy Buds Plus, which doesn't have any active noise cancellation, but this has levels of transparency there, moving all the way up to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, which has a ton of features, uh, including 360 audio, allowing you to get head tracking uh, in with that as well. Plus you do have speak to chat, which is available just on the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and the Galaxy Buds uh, 2, I'm sorry, which is available on the Galaxy Buds Pro and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. And then you also have all those added uh, uh, app features like the EQ settings there, as well as also some of the game mode settings. So there's a lot you can do within the application that adds a lot more, but you get that extra uh, 360 audio with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Okay, so let's put a pin on this to summarize everything we have here. So the best Galaxy Buds are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. And right now, Samsung only offers the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, Galaxy Buds 2, and the Galaxy Buds Live, discontinuing the Galaxy Buds Plus and the Galaxy Buds Pro. So the Pro is actually off the market, and rightfully so, because the Buds 2 Pro really come in at that premium standpoint of giving you hi-fi audio, which is something I think Samsung hasn't stressed a lot with Bluetooth 5.3 as well on this device. So, I would definitely recommend it and say these are the Galaxy Buds to definitely pick up. Now, if you guys think I'm wrong or you think, nah, there's something else, leave your comments down below, but stay tuned. I will be giving you my video on gaming on the Galaxy Z Fold 4, and we'll be testing out, of course, audio there as well. And stay tuned for that comparison with the uh, Sony Link Buds S as well as the brand new uh, Pixel Buds Pro. 
So this is Stanley E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.